Yeah, I need to prepare. Um, you know, I love you. I want to try and finish. What did you buy? You. Say hi. Oh, so so thank you. Thank you. You got me so bad Wrapped around your Good morning It is 3.31 It's currently week 11 of the semester So one more week until final exams officially start So this semester I'm actually taking two biochemistry units and one immunology unit And also a internship Today is actually exciting because I'm going to bring you to my internship at the Flory If you didn't know, the Flory is actually the biggest brain research centre in the Southern Hemisphere That's partly the reason why we're waking up so early is because because I'm gonna go to the lab early today so that I don't disturb anyone else. But of course, let me finish up my skincare first. Oh, I feel so awake now. I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm tired and I'm overwhelmed, especially since it's exam season. It just feels like all the work is piling up and I'm getting nothing done. I'm too stressed to do the work, but I'm stressed because of the work. I'm tired all the time, but I'm too anxious to sleep. So it feels like I'm doing a lot, but I'm getting nothing done. So, we have about an hour-ish before we have to get to the lab for my internship. So let's get some studying done. I actually scribbled down some immunology notes on the whiteboard the other day and I really want to quickly write that down before I forget anything. So let's get that done. I didn't expect to finish all my immunology notes, but I did it and I'm happy about that. Also, I managed to do a little bit of my biochemistry lecture. I want to try and finish five lectures today. I'm sorry, that was completely delusional of me to say. I want to try and finish three lectures today, but I think the sun is rising already. So let's go get ready. <laughs> I was thinking of talking about my beauty favourites because there are a few that I want to share with you and that you ask me a lot about and this blush and brush is supposed to make the list but you know what? They are not going to be because I've only washed this brush twice and it's already cracked this blush as well, it's by Judy Doll. I don't recommend it. You're supposed to use it to lighten these areas. My issue is it keeps forming a hard pan on top. So I have to manually scrape the top with scissors every 2-3 uses, which is just not worth the money. But I do highly recommend this blush. I got it last week and it looks like this. You take a little bit, put it on your cheeks. And it just gives you the most beautiful, glowy, flushed look, Bestie. You can also put it on your eyes and lips. Moving on, this is my other current obsession. It's a toothbrush. Fun fact, if you want to know if your breath stinks, lick the back of your hand and smell it after it dries. If it stinks, then... A little backstory, right? My boyfriend loves electric toothbrushes because they keep your teeth way cleaner than manual ones. But the issue is, his ones are huge. These are heavy. That's why I've never bothered with electric toothbrushes because his are huge and I thought all of them were like that. And so I found this one by Lifen. I've heard of their hair dryers before because they're viral on TikTok, but I've never heard of their toothbrushes before. It's so small and light. Look at the difference. I've been using this for the past month or two and I love it. If I'm correct, there are three hits that you can choose from. I just have the blue one here because because it's the most gentle. I prefer low vibration and high oscillation. Basically, it just vibrates back and forth. Gets all the grime out. I'm gonna get the silver one for my boyfriend. And by the way, this is less than $100, which is really inexpensive compared to other electric toothbrushes. I don't know how this turned into a toothbrush review, but if you want mine, I'll leave it down in the description box below. I have one more favorite, but I'll show you after I finish my makeup.
you're not ready for my last beauty favorite. It's so warm. I wore it for my apple trip and all of you were obsessed. This is from Alfred Eden. But let's get ready or I'm gonna be running late. Late July with the sun up high, the cicadas sing as the weeks drop by. Read all day in a hammock sway, time like molasses and melts away. Need to beat the sleepy sweet heat, my friends call the Bestie, let me bring you to the land. Welcome to the tissue culture lab. So basically you can see the main lab outside here, but I don't do my experiments outside. I do it in this sterile room because I deal with cells and we can't have any bacteria um, killing the cells. So the first thing we have to do before anything else is put on our gloves and our lab coat. This is 80% ethanol and so we spray our hands before we do anything because it kills the bacteria in our hands. This is the water bath, so it just heats up the media. This is trypsin. Basically, the cells that I deal with are human embryonic kidney cells, so they tend to stick on anything that you grow them in. So if th your container is like this shape, it tends to stick on the walls. And so in order to transfer them into different containers, you need something to like kick them off the walls. And so that's what trypsin does. <laughs> so it takes about 30 minutes for everything to defrost. And in the meantime, I'm going to prepare all my equipment. and all. Give that a good rub. Then we gotta wash it down with a little bit of water in case there's any residue inside. Eat and all. All right, this is my lab notebook and we are legally required to write any procedure or experiment that we do in Flory into this notebook so that if you want to file for any patents, you have proof that you are the one that actually did the experiment. Um, I'm not that cool so I haven't invented anything yet but it's still good for good practice to write everything that I did in here. And this is what we're going to be doing today. This is my final setup. Let's go take out the cells. They're in this incubator right here. So this is the microscope and these are my cells. So what we're looking for is that they're not too yellow, which means that they and that they're not too confluent or not too spaced out, which means they're not growing that well. They're looking really good. I wonder if I can let you see. Morning. By the time that you've crystallized it, I've prepared the cells for the transfer. You say you want me, you better want me now. You got me out here? Yeah, I need to prepare. Um, you want me, love me, but you should love me now, cause I'll be running out of okay. here. We're back in the main lab, bestie. So this is my waste from my experiment and you saw me put acid into it, that's the pink colour powder. And now I have to dispose of it down the sink. And I also cleaned the vacuum for the first time today which is really fun. I'm done with 
wanted to let for today. I hope that wasn't boring because I've been posting so many mini vlogs on YouTube, right? On shorts. A lot of you said that you're interested in my lab work and my STEM life, so I hope that wasn't too boring. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that little segment. But it's 10 a.m. and I'm thinking of studying in the library upstairs. I can show you around as well. But first, I'm at the Flores Library. It's this like cute little space next to the cafeteria. I think that's what it's called. I'll give you a little tour. But since I've already done half of my lecture this morning, I'm gonna try and finish the other half before I go back to eat lunch. We're gonna try to be productive right now. <laughs> So it's been one hour and I did 10 minutes of the lecture so I'm left with another 10 minutes which is really good. I'm really hungry so let's pack up and go home and eat Vesti. You show up at my door with some coffee and croissants went to my favorite store because you can tell it's what I want. I can't imagine more. It's been a dream and far beyond. Well so then what am I? Go. For the record is scratched, but then you go again. Well, only a spot, no identity. What did you buy? Ooh. Oh, yeah. My boyfriend bought us dessert from the city. Raisin bread, banana cake. I woke up and it's raining. Steve told me to meet her at the design building later. I just announced on Faith Films Academy that I'll be doing a live study with me tomorrow. If you don't know, um, Faith Films Academy is my free community for students where we can share advice, tips, and live stream studying together and everything like that. Feel free to join if you want. My manager also just reminded me saying that I have to get a few sponsorships done tonight. So how I handle having a demanding job like YouTube and being a full-time university student is this. I tell my staff to update me and get everything done for me while I go to university to study. So tonight when I get back home, I know exactly what I need to do. Baby, I would let you if I knew when I met you. You would mean the world and everything I am into. Wouldn't trade it in an instant. was no coincidence and to be. I know you feel it connected on another level. Spirits intertwined. Write our own history a step at a time. Tiff is two stops away, so she's reaching really soon. But I couldn't find a good seat on um, the second floor where there are actual tables, so I guess we have to settle for a high chair. I think it's fine. But I can't wait to finally get into and be productive. So I'm gonna finish that biochemistry lecture, then yeah, I'll see how many I can get done today. Tiff is here. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> And if you didn't know, Tiff is a faceless content creator but she wants to do a face reveal really soon so I'm gonna ask all of you besties to comment down below telling Tiff to do a face reveal because she, she needs like a little boost of motivation. You wanna tell them what you're gonna study today? Yeah, I'm going to do my design project. Uh, yeah, I need to get on with it because I'm a little bit behind. I have five lectures to finish by today. You say you're behind, way back there. <sighs> I think we need caffeine because progress is slow. Hi, can I get a large white mocha? Sure. Thank you. I've never had the white hot mocha though. Okay. 
Mm, right? Oh. Wait, can you try your matcha? Does it taste like grass? Yeah. No, you can try it if you like. It tastes like flour. <laughs> oh well, bye! Let's go! <laughs> It's like 8.30 p.m. Oh, so tired. I don't know why I'm like so fast with this second lecture. A lot of people left already, but there's still students here. I think because exam season is coming, so... Is it exam season for you, Bestie? Let me know. We are done with the third lecture of the day. Um, two more to go, but I really want to go home and have a nice dinner. And I have no idea what my mom cooked, so I'm excited to see. Um, Why are you cooking? Okay, luncheon meat and red carrot soup. All my favorite food. a chill night but turns out my boyfriend's friend invited us to his apartment to play call of duty together so <laughs> i really want to continue playing call of duty but i think i have to finish up my lecture if not i'm really gonna re but i think i need to continue my lecture and finish it so that i don't regret it tomorrow but if you've made it this far, comment down below what time you woke up today, bestie. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. There'll be more on my shorts and Instagram reels, so be sure to follow me there. Thank you for 1,150,000 subscribers, and I'll see you all in my next video, bestie.